One mother in Campbell County continues her search for her two sons three years after they left home and never came back. Tracy and Scott Hawkins set out hunting for the medicinal herb ginseng back in August of 2021. Their mother Donna is speaking out, hoping for answers. 10 News reporter Ellis Rold is here with her story. Ellis. John Robin, Donna Hawkins tells me she's leaning on her faith to help her stay strong, even as it appears her sons have simply vanished. Get up this morning. Been gone three years. No answers. Where are they? A mother's plea and determination. I don't care what it takes until I find my boys. I will let this world know that they are missing. 44 year old Tracy and 51 year old Scott Hawkins went missing three years ago. They left home one morning to look for ginseng. It got closer at 630. I figured they'd come inside the driveway and they went nowhere. They didn't come. After they didn't come home for dinner, their truck was found parked close to where they would usually look for ginseng. The brothers were nowhere to be found. Donna's only hope is her faith. I'm not going to let them be forgotten. I can't. How do you keep your strength? Praying. Since their disappearance, the Campbell County Sheriff's Office has had no leads, but Donna fears the worst. I know they're not coming back. I've come to reality of that. But I need to know why and where has happened to them. The sheriff's office says cases like these are devastating. I would walk through fire for these families if I could find some way to figure out what's happened to these individuals because they need to know. Donna says the sheriff's office has been helpful, but God has the answers. And I know my heavenly father knows exactly where my boys are. It ain't time, I guess, for him to let me know. He may never let me know. If you have any information about the Hawkins brothers, Donna and the Sheriff's Department, ask that you report it to authorities. There's currently no reward for finding them, but the investigation is active and the Campbell County Sheriff's Office is handling this case. John Robin. We should hope she gets some answers, Ellis. Thank you.